Welcome to this video. We're going to talk about how we can connect batteries differently or cells differently um, and that could be in series or in parallel. So as we go through this and you sort of discover the advantages and disadvantages of each one, I want you to think about the potential applications that may have. Now batteries are used uh, obviously in our phones and our laptops. We can think about how can we extend the battery life so that we don't have to recharge as often. And we can think about the development of electric cars and increasing their driving range. And we can also think about the setup we have here which is our solar panel set up in a home, in which case batteries play an important role if you want to have electricity at night when the solar panels are no longer absorbing light. So as we go, try to think about those types of um, implications. So here we have two um, circuits and we're going to compare them uh, to start off. I'm going to show the values. So we have two ideal switches and then we have um, two cells and again um, this is the correct terminology in physics although in everyday life we call these batteries these are in fact cells um, and then when you add more than one cell together then you have a battery so these two together would be a battery but each one individually is a cell and uh, their voltage is each nine so there's two in each and each one is nine and then we have a light bulb in each and uh, that's our resistor which has a resistance of 10 ohms in each one. So let's uh, flip the switch on the first one. This is the series circuit that everybody is used to and uh, we see the light bulb goes on. If we were to try and see what happens when you connect those batteries in series um, we can take our voltmeter, connect the red or positive um, end to the on the side that is um, the same as the positive terminal on the battery and then we do the the same thing but for the negative terminal so it's on the side of the negative terminal um, for the black wire and so we see it's 18 volts so when we hook up our batteries in series we end up with adding their voltages so 9 plus 9 is 18 volts and if you remember Ohm's law which is voltage divided by resistance to give you your current um, 18 volts divided by 10 should give us a current of 1.8 so let's see if that's holding true yes it is so Ohm's law is working well there now let's uh, connect those cells differently we're going to connect these cells in parallel so let's turn well actually make a little prediction for yourself what do you think will happen when I flip this switch what do you think will be the lightness or the brightness of the light? Will it be brighter, the same brightness, or dimmer than what we have up here? If you want to pause and think about the reasons why you think that, go for it, because I'm going to flip it. And there we go. Oh, look at that. It is dimmer. So two cells connected in parallel actually end up giving us a different voltage for the circuit because our resistance is the same and we know current is only due to voltage and resistance. So since the resistance stayed the same, something different happened with the voltage. So if we take our ammeter over, we can sort of try and think, well, what happened? Okay, we, we have 0.9 amps. In other words, half of the current of the other one. So that sort of makes me think, well, if I'm using Ohm's law and I'm dividing by 10 and I need to get 0.9, well, it's probably 9. So I'm predicting I probably that the voltage around our resistor here, the voltage drop, we sometimes call it, will be 9. So let's see if I'm correct. And I am. I'm correct. So the voltage when we connect cells in parallel is actually just the voltage of each cell um, and they don't add together like they would in a series circuit or connecting the batteries in series so that has uh, some potential implications so if these two um, cells up in this circuit and this circuit are equivalent um, this circuit at the top is going to run out of energy faster because it's using or it has higher current so more energy is being used so this light will go out before this light 
So one potential application is if we connect some of these batteries or some of these cells in parallel, um, we can extend battery life. So if you were to actually look inside the batteries or the development of batteries, you, you'd actually see that we try and, and make smaller, smaller cells fit inside the battery and we try to connect them in parallel and in combination within series. Uh, so sometimes we don't have to pick and choose. We can actually hook up some batteries in series and in parallel at the same time. But that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So that's the main sort of advantage of doing this is that your battery life lasts longer. And the other one is that when you add this, these other batteries, or sorry, these other cells, I keep making that you know, it looks like a battery, so I say battery. It's a cell in physics. Um, but when we do this in, in parallel, it doesn't force this light bulb to be brighter. And so, you know, there's always a limit to what our resistors can accept in terms of voltage. They're built for a certain voltage. So if we were to always try to connect our cells in series, we might go over what the voltage of what the light bulb could handle and cause it to blow out or burn out. So this way, um, by selecting how we connect them, we can control the voltage um, and the current and extend the battery life. So potential applications, making our electric cars go further and making our um, solar or allowing our solar setups to give us electricity at night um, when the solar panels aren't directly supplying it.